Hello, this is Tom Hanlon with a short tutorial on nail care for guitarists. If you've ever broken a nail and lost a couple weeks of playing time and really wished you hadn't, or if you have a thin nail and you can't seem to get a good tone from it, this technique is for you. It's inexpensive, it's easy, and it works very well. You'll need crazy glue. Thinner and faster drying is my preference, but whatever you happen to have around will certainly work. Acrylic powder is the secret ingredient. It's available for about $7 at stores like Sally Beauty. You'll need an emery board, medium and fine, thereabouts, and 400 sandpaper, and the sandpaper is available at most hardware stores for about $2. I've been asked to talk a little bit about shaping the nails. So prior to using the glue and the powder, use your 100 emery board and shape the nail approximately the same shape as the finger pad. As you can see in the photograph, it's about an eighth of an inch longer. And on the edges, contour or taper the nail so that it blends in to the pad. Leave the nail a little longer for now, and then you can adjust the length later. Here's the process. We'll discuss it, and then you'll see a short video that'll illustrate how it works. Put a layer of glue across the top edge of the nail. Let it set for about 15 seconds, and then put the nail into the powder. Let it set for another 30 seconds or so, and then repeat the process. A layer of glue into the powder. Let that set up, and finally finish with a layer of glue. That's it. And here you can see the procedure. I'm putting glue on the uh, quarter inch of the nail at the tip, an even layer from the left to the right side of the nail. You could do the whole nail, but it's not really necessary. Once that's done, dip it in the powder once or twice. Let it set. Wipe off the excess powder. And then another layer of glue, and then another dip in the powder. Brush off the excess powder one more time once it's set up. And here we have another layer of glue to seal the powder. And that's it. Here we are at the final stage, which is really the most critical, the smoothing and polishing of the nail. First, you'll use the medium, the emery board, then the fine emery board, and then the 400 sandpaper. In each case, for about 10 to 15 seconds, you'll work the nail edge, the surface left, the right, the middle, the upper, and the lower, and we'll see that in the video. When you're done, you should have a smooth surface and a very round tone. Typically, if there's a problem with the tone, you'll find that you've missed the surface of the nail, and you need to spend another five or 10 seconds working it over. Usually, for me, it's the 400 sandpaper. And here's the video showing the emery board. First, the medium emery board, working the edge of the nail, left to right, top to bottom, 10-15 seconds. Then turn the board over, same thing. Left to right, top to bottom, 10-15 seconds. Once that's done, you can wrap the 400 sandpaper around the armory board and repeat the process for a third time. Left to right, top and bottom, nice and smooth. Finally, use the sandpaper by hand, put it in your left hand, and with your left thumb, work it around all the surfaces of the nail. You can hear it, you can feel it. Uh, as you start to play, you'll notice if there's anything that isn't smooth, uh, just go back over it as you, need, uh, as you need to. Usually the 400 sandpaper would be a finishing step, and if you had to touch it up, it would be with the 400 sandpaper. And that's it, complete. For repairing nails, this is a real lifesaver. Rather than losing a week or two of playing time because a nail is cracked or starting to split, you can glue it up and then use the powder uh, with the glue to reinforce that patch. It's quick, it's easy. You can shape the whole surface if you need to, if it gets a little bit thick with the emery board. And you'll see by doing this a couple of times that it's very forgiving and you can sometimes you know, correct a fairly large split if you nurse it along and baby it a little bit during uh, the course of it growing out and save yourself that week or two or three of not having the nail to use.
So here are some typical questions. How long will this last? I find it lasts five to ten days and maybe a couple of weeks if you're, if you're lucky. It depends on the kind of work you do and how rough you are with your nails. Won't this ruin my nails? I haven't had a problem. I'm doing it for many years now. How can I get it off? The key here is not to force it off. Sometimes the whole thing will pop off by itself. Uh, you'll notice you're doing a chore and you'll see that it's actually gone. No harm done. Uh, just repeat the process of glue and powder when you have a chance. But if part of it breaks off, you don't want to force the other part because I think that could damage the surface. In that case, I would use the emery board, smooth down the remaining piece, not necessarily to take it off, just get the edge down. And then where the nail is now exposed, put a layer of glue and powder and another layer of glue and powder. And you can even up the remaining, uh, the patch with the part that has remained, and you should be back in business. Will I get a fuller sound? Absolutely. And this is really the key point. Thin nails, even if they're highly polished, won't produce a full sound. So the thicker nail, and then a smoothing the thicker nail, I find to be key. A thick nail, if it's not smoothly polished, that is with the, uh, the, the two kinds of emery board and then the 400 sandpaper, uh, will still s give you a rough sound. So it's critical that you do both the, uh, the buildup of the polish and uh, the glue and powder and also polish the nail surface. What if a layer gets loose? You can simply apply a little glue where it's beginning to separate. The glue will run under the nail, uh, the patch that is, uh, especially the thin uh, glue will really run under very easily. And then you can just squeeze the patch and nail together and uh, hold it there for about 15 seconds and you should be back in business. This completes the lesson. Thanks for watching and enjoy your more durable and better sounding nails. Mm -hmm.